What's going on, everybody? So with the NBA oh, yeah. draft a day away, Phil Jackson is making headlines. Obviously, we know he hates Carmelo Anthony. That is not a rumor. That is just being shown by any which way possible he's been able to show it. The guy outright gave this man a no-trade clause, gave him a wild deal, and now doesn't want him and doesn't know how to deal with it as a grown man. So he goes to Twitter, he takes shots at him. And obviously, because we know Phil Jackson had such a great uh, career as a coach, we don't look at him as the real douchebag that he's being right now. And that's what he's being, because you can't treat your star athlete that way. And regardless, you know, with the news coming out with Chris Stapps, Porzingis, and things of that nature, it doesn't really matter. Nobody's gonna wanna play with this guy. I don't think that it's just him being open to trading uh, Chris Stapps, Porzingis as much as Porzingis just wants to go too. Because if you're treating Carmelo Anthony like that, it's only a matter of time before you treat him like that. This dude has completely destroyed the Knicks franchise. And people are like, yo, I can't believe it. He was such a great coach. Exactly, you idiots. He was a great coach, not a general manager, not a guy that could build the team. He wasn't building the Chicago Bulls team. He didn't build the Lakers team. He didn't do any, all he did was coach and did the triangle offense, bruh. That, that's all he did. He didn't do anything that was like, all right, let me put together a team. He wasn't an hour back. He wasn't that dude. He just was a good coach. That was it. And then even when you look at his books and he talks about Kobe Bryant, he talks about My uh, Michael Jordan, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, pretty much all he did was give them books to read. I was like, yo, I'll see you at practice. So when you really look at it, you can't take away from what he was able to accomplish as far as rings, but people shouldn't be surprised that he has no idea what he's doing as a general manager of the New York. This guy has completely destroyed the Knicks franchise. He's... It is, look, he's put them back so many years. I don't know what New York is going to, like the Nets are going to be better than the Knicks. And that's like, it's very, very obvious. Just looking at everything that's going on within the, um, the inside, the sources, everything that comes out of the New York Times, the Post, stuff like that. I see this every day. It's always an article in it about how bad Phil Jackson is. And you know what I'm saying? Like the dude is just a joke. He's an outright joke. And even if you wanted to get rid of Carmelo Anthony, Right now, I, if I'm Carmelo Anthony, I like what he's doing because it's showing everybody how much of a douchebag he really is. And that is gonna help either get rid of him, which I don't, I don't think Nolan is gonna get rid of him, the owner, but you know, it's nobody's gonna want a place. At some point, you see what happened with the Lakers, you gotta get rid of dudes. You brought a Magic Johnson, got rid of Jerry Buss. You know, it's like, you gotta do something. You gotta get, it, something has to go right now because now the man wants to trade Porzingis. Like, why would you? Why is he open to be to trade Porzingis? Like he's the youngest, probably most. Um, he, he has the most potential. He's the most potential on the team right now, and with you, is what I'm trying to say. And then now you're just like, you know what? I'm going straight crazy and haywire. What do you think you're gonna get for Porzingis? Like, what are you trying to do? Like this guy right here, Phil Jackson is a very dangerous man because he really has nothing to lose. Nobody's really stopping him from doing the ridiculous things that he's doing because of his track record. But just be, again, just because you're a great coach, that doesn't mean you could build a team. And this is the thing, I don't know if he's able to identify, cause like I think he got lucky outright with Porzingis anyway, but as far as this debacle that's going on with, um, you know, as far as when we're talking about this whole situation with Carmelo Anthony, the way that Phil Jackson has been handling that, it just shows where the Knicks franchise is going. You, you know what's crazy about it? The Knicks fans already know they're not winning the championship in, in, in the foreseeable future. You guys remember last year when Derrick Rose was going there and it was like, he, he made that article, bro, we're a super team, we're putting so many things together. You saw what happened? Bro, Derrick Rose didn't even show up to practice one day and, and didn't even tell anybody. Like this, yo, that team is an outright joke. Their coach is a joke. Everything about it is a joke. Phil Jackson is a joke. Like, I don't know what is happening with the New York Knicks, but I can tell you this much, nothing good is gonna be coming uh, anytime soon. So if you're a Knicks fan, and you see this man's face, bro. Like, it just comes up all over the place, or MSG and all that stuff like that. Every time you see this man's face, that's a reflection of what's going on. You guys are not gonna do anything. It's a wrap, it's over. It is what it is, guys. Like, it's nothing much that you can do about this because if the owner doesn't want to fire Phil Jackson and he's still getting extensions, and he's seeing the way that he's handling his business, there's nothing you can do as a fan but just, just fall back and support them and lie to yourself and say that you know that they're gonna, look, it did, Carmelo Anthony is never going to give you give you guys everything because he doesn't like where he's playing. Just like when you go to McDonald's and that it, you know you'd be like, "Yo, can I get a you know a ten piece?" Like, all right, like they're mad angry about it, bro. 
Carmelo Anthony is not happy about what's going on. He's not going to turn into Kevin Durant, stop playing defense on the other side. He's not motivated to play. All he's able to do, go out there, practice hard, and just make sure that you're, like, you're making an attempt to play basketball. That's all, he, that's all he's trying to do right now. It is nothing else that this man is trying to do because he doesn't care. He really just, and I, I've, look, listen, I've watched him play. I know, you know, he goes out there, he tries to ball out. It is New York. It's a lot of pressure. He's not balling, bro. It's so much more left to Carmelo Anthony. And I just wish that, you know, I know he wants, to, he wants to get his money and all that stuff like that, but I just wish that he would just leave and go someplace else and get a chance at a ring and, you know, just show that he could actually ball because Phil Jackson is not the guy you want to play for, man. He just, if he was coaching on the sideline, maybe, you know, he got away with the, with the Lakers and, you know, and the Bulls. But right now, he's just not that guy. He's just not that guy. He does not. The players do not deserve to have a, a president of basketball operations that has harder Twitter fingers. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the dude's Twitter fingers is so hard. It's It makes teenage boys and girls look like a joke. This guy has to go, man. But like I said, he's open to trading them. I don't know what's going to happen. I will tell you this outright, though. The Knicks have no rings in their near future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, you know, enjoyed this podcast. Definitely drop a like, subscribe. Until next time. One love.